let's talk about the pitfalls, some pitfalls in gastrointestinal pathology. Take a look at this on higher power. It looks extremely bland, doesn't it? There's no anisonucleosis. There's none of that irregular nuclear membranes that you often see with pancreatic duct adenocarcinoma. But no, this is not benign. This is perineural invasion in a pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma. By definition, perineural invasion is pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma. But does every focus of perineural invasion indicate cancer? And the answer is no, no. Here's example number one. These are benign islets, most colonizing perineurium, mimicking perineural invasion. And this is often seen more often these days following neoadjuvant therapy, particularly in cases where you see a massive pseudohypertrophy of the islets. Here's another focus, a benign looking gland with a nerve around it. This does look very much like perineural invasion, doesn't it? There's the offending gland, there's the nerve around it, but notice there are many other nerve twigs around that focus. There is very significant neural hypertrophy here. And this is one of those hypertrophic nerves. In fact, these were distributed throughout the pancreas. So here's more neural hypertrophy, and there's the offending gland right there. So my hypothesis is that just the sheer volume of neural proliferation causes that gland to get stuck within that neural proliferation, mimicking perineural invasion. And finally, I think this is the coolest mimic of perineural invasion. Notice these epithelioid eosinophilic cells. This is from a mucinous cystic neoplasm, and these are luteinized cells from that mucinous cystic neoplasm and trapped within nerves. This is something where our GVI and friends see far more often. This is not malignant. This is a mimic of perineural invasion. And so there you have it, the mimics of perineural invasion, a pitfall in gastrointestinal, specifically pancreatic pathology in this case.